largest state, North Central Nigeria provides a vast field of the Earth's gifts. The hands on the plow these days are determined, sensitive and proactive in ensuring a seamless harnessing of the state resources for the well-being of the people. With about 10% of Nigeria's landmass rich and uniquely cultivable, Niger State possesses an almost inexhaustible surface and underground water resources, which naturally boosts all year irrigated farming practices. Niger State landmass alone is more than landmass that we have in the southeastern part of Nigeria. So certainly, with the so it poses a great agricultural opportunity for the country, creating jobs for the unemployed. We're trying to engage. Uh, a lot of our youths into agriculture. We have so many graduates, too many graduates, all seeking for political appointments of, or jobs. Unfortunately, the size of the government is already too big. Identifying the vast potential of his state, Governor Abubakar Sanibelu hit the ground running by indicating that agriculture was a priority. Developing the sector in the state as a catalyst for economic development and job creation. The Abu Bakasani Bellu led administration is a partner in progress for farmers, providing regular farm inputs, purchasing and distributing tractors to farming households. <laughs> We thank God for the fertilizer distribution and among the first beneficiary, Allah alhamdulillah. The government has uh, flagged off the fertilizer at the right time and I, I hope that uh, we farmers will be happy so that uh, we start uh, uh, applying our fertilizer in time. We are very grateful to our state government who produced us for the farmer for the fertilizer. The administration has also released funds for the resuscitation and distribution of mechanized feelers abandoned for years to boost agricultural activities in Niger State. We have been able to uh, come out or rather establish uh, an agricultural uh, policy framework and um, an investment plan for the state. Uh, this for more than a decade had not been uh, in the fall. To improve domestic competence in the sector, the state government initiated partnership with foreign investors in the areas of sugar and rice production. This area is currently experiencing exponential growth and development. Sunti Golden Estate is a multi-billionaire investment by an indigenous company, Sunti in Mokwa local government area supported by Niger state government in the provision of a vast land for development. The South Korean government through the Korean International Cooperation Agency has established a modern rice processing complex in Bida, Niger State under its technical assistance program to Nigeria to improve the competitiveness of Nigeria produced rice in the international market. The federal government and the Niger state government have several synergistic programs running with remarkable successes recorded. Under the project partnership agreement, the agriculture policy of Niger state government has received the boost through sustained partnerships in intervention projects such as FADAMA 3, DFID, IFAD Value Chain Development Program and the Agricultural Transformation Agenda Support Program. The executive governor of Niger State had equally approved the establishment of um, one new irrigation scheme at Tamanai in Bogoruk local government area and the reactivation of four existing ones at a total sum of 215 million naira fifty kuku. There is also the uniquely impactful anchor borrower scheme of the CBN, which Governor Abubakar Sanibelu has leveraged upon to ensure its 
speculation to farmers in his state while supporting beneficiaries and other farmers with extension services and added expertise to ensure better yields. What we are seeing here today is a product of hard work, commitment under the able leadership of President Muhammad Buhari. <laughs> No matter who you are, no matter who you are.